got on. Welcome to the music room. Anyway, I'm glad you joined us today. And God is on in your situation. The power of God, the principles of God, the purpose of God, the personality of God. We're going to come into agreement that he is broadcasting loud and clear in your situation right where you are. Hey, I want to show you some cool things on the piano here today. I just wanted to bring this out. We, I, I showed you before we have the seven notes in the scale, and seven is God's number of divine perfection and completion. Remember, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, you know? Okay, seven notes. <clears throat> God's going to perfect that which concerns you, and he's going to do a completed work in your life this week. But not only that, is you, when you look at the black keys, you see a set of two and you see a set of three. Well, two in the number, the number two rather, in the Bible is the number of agreement and witness. On the day of Pentecost, they had cloven tongues like as a fire that sat upon their heads. Two is the number of agreement. If any two agree on anything on earth, if two agree touching anything on earth, it will be done of the Father which is in heaven. There's two that agree on earth, and three that agree in heaven, the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, and the two that agree here is myself and the Holy Spirit, all right? Earth is Holy Spirit headquarters, and I'm going to claim that as your environment for today. So two is the number of witness and agreement. It shall be done because of agreement. You are going to witness the fulfillment of what God has called you to do in your life because of the two. And then there's the three. The three is the 30, 60, 100 fold, outer court, inner court, holy of holies. It's Father, Son, Holy Ghost, body, soul, spirit. It's the number of the Trinity of man and the number of the Trinity of heaven and God. So three is the number of the fullness of the harvest, the fullness of the Godhead and man joined together, all right? So you have three, you have two, and of those two sequences, three and two is five. Five is the number of grace. Five is the number of man. You have five fingers, you have five toes, you have five senses. So in other words, in the Bible, five is the number of favor. Five is the number of grace. So in other words, we're God's grace delivery system. So we receive grace, and we not only receive it, it flows through us. It flows out of us. We're God's grace supply system to the world. Grace, unmerited favor, something you didn't deserve, something you didn't work for, something you don't have coming, but God imposes it on you anyway. He loves you whether you want him to or not, and aren't you glad he does? He doesn't give up, does he? Praise God for that. Anyway, that's the keyboard there. And so we have seven we have two, we have three, and if you'll notice, in between the three and the four on the white notes from the middle C, you have no black key there. In between the seven and eight, you have no black key, okay? So what is that representing? Well, that's representing, you know, the black keys are representing humanity, five, and the white keys are representing the Godhead, okay? Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, the completion of the Godhead. We are incomplete without him, just like the, the black notes would be incomplete without the white notes. So God is calling us and calling us right now to work together with him and to a partnership with him. God and Son Incorporated. Isn't that cool? God's called you to be an heir of God and a joiner with Jesus Christ. So in between the third and the fourth, in between our Trinity and God's Trinity and fourth, there's, there's no separation between the fullness of God and four is the number of the earth, four is the number of the world, north, south, east, and west, the directions, the four seasons, four elements, a lot of different things. We could go into that, but four is the number of the earth. So between the Trinity and earth, there's nothing that separates them. God is here. Satan cannot throw him out. He can't dispossess him. In fact, if you see somebody out on the side of the road with a homeless sign in the spirit world, it's going to be the devil. It's not going to be God because the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Between seven and eight, there's nothing there. Between divine perfection 
and eight is resurrection, which is actually eight and one, so it's new beginnings and unity. Praise God, we're walking in unity and resurrection life, right? Okay, there's nothing that separates resurrection life and new beginning and unity and divine perfection and completion. It all comes together in Christ. So isn't that cool? I like that about the keyboard, and I'm reminded of the Lord every time I sit down. We've been talking on God on about contentment and what contentment is and what contentment is not. Well, contentment is hosted. What is contentment? Contentment is hosted by the Holy Ghost. It's hosted by the Holy Spirit. Now, the ingredients of contentment are hosted by the Holy Spirit in a perfect uh, coming together and uh, mixing of the anointing oils to bring about contentment for the anointing of contentment. Zechariah 4, 6, what are they? Number one, total reliance on the Holy Spirit is paramount. It's not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. We can do nothing outside of the Holy Spirit. He is our source, just like he was the source of Jesus. So let's do it in Jesus style. Number two, peace. These are the ingredients of contentment hosted by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit flows. He doesn't drain. Aren't you glad he's not a drainer? You got enough drainers in your life, don't you? Okay, the Holy Spirit will cause you to flow. You don't have to row. You just, you float and the river carries you. The Holy Spirit carries you to the destination of fulfillment and success. So Isaiah 66, 12 says, I will extend peace like a river to you. John 7, 38, he that believes on me, as the scripture says, out of his belly, out of his inner man, out of his inner womb will flow rivers of living waters. Rivers of living waters, okay? Rivers of divine healing, rivers of divine health, rivers of divine joy, rivers of divine relationship, rivers of divine reconciliation. There are many rivers of the Spirit of God flow out of the nature of the Holy Spirit. Let's let them flow. Number three, trust is God's ability. Trust is part of the ingredients for contentment that's being mixed here in the apothecary of the Holy Spirit, trust is his ability to empower you. Acts 1.8, you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you shall be a record of his power. You shall see what God can do in your life, in your world. You want a new world? Let him create a new and the Holy Spirit's got all the experience necessary, all right? Number four, pray with the Holy Spirit. Romans 8, 26 and 27, for we not know, we know not how we ought to pray as we ought, but the Holy Spirit makes intercession for us because he knows the mind of God and he prays the perfect prayer of the will of God when we're praying with the Holy Spirit. You know, the Bible says that he helps our infirmities. The word infirmity most of the time means sickness. And so most of the time outside of him, we pray sick prayers, all right? So let's pray healthy prayers. Let's pray prayers that are infused with the will of God and the Holy Spirit knows the will of God. Number five, always make the first priority of decision the Holy Spirit's option. What do you want me to do, Holy Spirit? I'm open. I'm listening. Matthew 6, 33, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. The Holy Spirit is the governor of the kingdom of God on earth. The king is away. The governor is here and we are his regent wherever we're at in that part of the planet. So the Holy Spirit governs us. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all the things that you require and need and desire shall be added to you. Proverbs 3, 6, in all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path. So let's pray right now and let's believe for the divine apothecary of the Holy Spirit to mix the anointing for contentment. Father, in the name of Jesus, anoint my friends, anoint my brothers and sisters. Oh God, we need the Holy Spirit. We, oh God, I want to host the Holy Spirit. I want to host the Holy Spirit this week. I want to host the Holy Spirit in my life every day. Oh, Holy Spirit, speak to me. I, I've missed your voice so many times and one bad decision can cost me 20 years. Oh God. Let me listen. Let me have the anointing to listen and host the Holy Spirit. I want to be the best friend 
of the Holy Spirit today. In Jesus' name, amen. It's done.